Another use for the Pythagorean theorem is to identify what kind of a triangle you have if you've discovered that it's not a right triangle. Remember that if you can multiply the sides A and B by themselves and then add them together to get the same thing as C multiplied by itself, then it is a right triangle. A squared plus B squared is C squared. But if those numbers don't work out, then we know it's not a right triangle. By identifying what, those, what that result actually is, we can see what kind of a not right triangle we have. For instance, let's take a look at this one up here. This triangle on the top left-hand side here, ABC, ABC, is an acute triangle. This angle up here at C is less than 90. And this angle down here at A is less than 90. And this angle over here at B is less than 90. So that makes this an acute triangle. And we could identify that without necessarily knowing exactly how it would look just by taking the dimensions of the three sides, 6, 7, and 8, and running them through the Pythagorean theorem. So if we do 6 squared plus 7 squared equals 8 squared, well, 6 squared is 36, and 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64. Well, obviously, 36 and 49 is more than 84. We're looking at, what, 70, 85. So 85 is greater than 64. Well, if your A plus B sides are a greater number when they're squared than the C side is, then these two legs here stick out too far, if you like. And that ends up making this other side over here smaller. So it ends up not being enough for this to be a true 90 degree angle. So this ends up being an acute triangle. So if the two short sides add up to be a greater value, you have an acute triangle. Now down over here in the lower right, our example would be similar, but this one here we have 4, 5, 7 as our sides. Well, 4 squared plus 5 squared equals 7 squared. If we were to try to figure that out or see if that works, we'd get 16 plus 25 equals 49. Obviously, that's not correct, but we can see 41 is less than 49. Well, in that case, we've sort of come up with where we want to have these two sides meet at a 90 degree angle, like up here. The two sides we have are too short, so they end up getting sort of stretched out in each direction to meet the ends of this bottom side, which is too long. So now we end up with an angle that's greater than 90 degrees up here at C. So this angle up here, because A and B are too short, this angle up here at C is greater than 90 degrees. So it's an obtuse triangle. So if your A plus B is greater than C, you get an acute triangle. And if your A plus B is less than C, less than C, you get an obtuse triangle. Cool. And I think that's our last example. Yeah, let's take a look at the example questions.